The UN Secretary of State Antony Blinken's welcome in China was a bit unusual. Notably, the top diplomat did not receive a red carpet welcome and there were only few officers to greet him. On his second day of the visit, he met with China's top official in Shanghai on Thursday. As Beijing and Washington are trying to iron out wrinkles in their ties. During a meeting with the Shanghai Communist Party Secretary Chen Jinning, Blinken stressed the importance of a responsible US-China relationship. In a post shared by Blinken on social media platform X, he said that the two discussed importance of economic competition. We have an obligation for our people uh, and indeed an obligation for the world to manage the relationship between our two countries responsibly. Uh, that is the obligation that we have and one that we take very seriously. And I think uh, the direction from President Biden and President Xi was uh, to continue to build those lines of communication to sustain them uh, and again to deal directly with our differences as we also seek to build cooperation. So thank you uh, for having us here today. I look forward to a good conversation. I know that this year marks the 45th anniversary of the establishment of diplomatic ties between China and the US, which are the most important bilateral relations in the world. Since the establishment of diplomatic ties, the relationship has not always been smooth. There have always been twists and turns but overall, it has progressed with historical development and has progressed forward. The two also discussed regional issues. In addition, Blinken will meet with business leaders and students before heading on to Beijing on Friday for talks with his counterpart, Foreign Minister Wang Yi, and a possible meeting with President Xi Jinping. Now, Blinken's visit comes a day after. He pointed out that Beijing is continuing to commit genocide and crimes against humanity, against Uyghurs and other Muslim minorities in its western Xinjiang province. And other reasons which would make the meeting fraught are U.S. President signing a rare bipartisan bill, which included an $8 million move to counter China's military might. Now, alongside billions in defense aid to Taiwan and 61 billions to Ukraine, Biden also signed a separate bill tied to the aid legislation banning TikTok in the U.S. if its owner, the Chinese tech firm ByteDance, fails to divest the popular short video app over the next nine months to a year. Blinken's visit will also focus on China greenlighting the export of chemical precursors for fentanyl into Mexico and also China supporting Russia in its war with Ukraine.